And these are all for one horse. <laughs> so I'm just going to take Will for a little walk. Um, he's already been worked today, but I want to get in the arena um, as much as possible. So I'm going to take him for a little stroll so he can see his surroundings. Um, and then we will unpack properly. And then, yeah, that's it for today. Bye, Piglet. Still eating. Off you go. Okay, this is wealthy chilled out. This is probably the most chilled out you'll see him for the next three days. Oh, he says it's another playground. Ow! So we are going to put some um, boots on him to put. Put me off. So we are going to put some boots on on him to protect his legs as he is in a temporary stable and there are little pokey things. I need to camp on. <laughs> uh, Mum's loving the vlog. Mm. Yummy healthy dinner. What did you just put? What is that? Garlic. You have to for it. I thought you liked those. Yeah, it's got a funny sauce on it. So prep for this show hasn't been ideal. Um, because Wilf is now starting to do the more advanced work, he is changing shape quite quickly. So we've had to change his saddle around because the previous one was getting a little bit small on him. Um, and I didn't want him to get sore in his back. So he has been working a lot on the lunge, on the bungee. We also have a saddle that has a flexible tree. So I've been working him in that but it's not ideal for the collection work and all that so i've been quite limited to what i've been able to do with him also i was meant to take him out to do his first into one two weeks ago and obviously because i didn't have the right saddle i couldn't take him so actually tomorrow is going to be the first time we have run through the into one but i don't mind that too much because i'm just going to really use it as a practice run so saturday i think is the first day i picked him up properly for a few weeks and it was really nice actually it kind of works out well that um, I had a full day teaching so I had to get up super early to ride him but it was really calm really peaceful and I think that helped my mindset and it helped me just really keep calm ride through the movements um, and get him back where I wanted and I'm, I'm so proud of him that you know he hasn't forgotten any of it I haven't forgotten any of it and we can still get through the movements um, and then today I had a lesson with David and again I was a little bit unsure about how it was going to go because we haven't, you know, put it all together. But he was so good and actually it's kind of been the best thing because he's really soft, supple because of all the stretching we've been doing um, and it's actually helped all the test movements. So it's kind of a blessing in disguise um, and I'm really excited for tomorrow. I have two tests, I've got the PSG and the Inter one, and then Friday I've got a PSG again. Um, so I will show you around Wellington tomorrow. Morning! So we are going to now go do the arena walk which is 7.30 to 8 and then I'm going to give him a little bit of a stretch and then have some breakfast and then give him a hand graze. <laughs>
So Wilfie was really relaxed in the arena walk and I gave him a little stretch, he was really good as well. So I'm gonna take him for a hand graze later and then he is on at two. So I don't have a frying pan and I've had to be inventive. Let's see how my banana pancake turns out now. <laughs> oh, smoked out the lorry, but it's kind of working. So, it's not the prettiest, but I think it'll do the job. Somebody. So now I've eaten my artistic breakfast, I will go and show you around Wellington. Hi dear. Oh, how brave. Well oh, done. Poor oh, little thing. I'm good. It's just, just for you to just have. No, day. no. Um, I have quite a few followers, and they like seeing like when I go to shows, and they I um, kind of make it, and then I kind of show them around the show. And you are. Uh, I thought you were. Uh, <laughs> your, new, your new camera. Yeah. I was watching your video oh, two days ago. I think. Oh, cool. Yeah. Look who it is! I filmed your test as well. Oh, please don't do that. <laughs> Everybody meet Polly. Hi! Hi. She just did the four year old. Yes, and it went okay, hopefully. <laughs> for a little hand graze now <laughs> although he's been eating his floor all day anyway I'm gonna go and get Wilf ready now get him platted up and get him clean I've just been editing some of the vlog um, yeah so I'm gonna get on at 1 15 because I'm on at 2 and that'll give me 45 minutes to give him a stretch walk around and then get ready for the test and I haven't got long in between the two tests, so um, I'll see what time it is, but I'll probably get off him for a little bit, hop back on, and then warm up for the into one. So I am all ready for my test. I'm actually, weirdly enough, a little bit nervous. I don't normally get nervous. Um, before tests, it's normally when I'm at home that I worry, but um, maybe because I haven't competed since Addington, I think that was a month ago, um, and maybe it's the anticipation of doing the into one, and I know I haven't ridden through it yet, um, but I think I'll be okay when I get on and I can focus on the horse. That always takes my nerves away when I just really think of putting the horse before me, um, and that takes my nerves away. So I think it'll be fine. I know it'll be fine. You got this. It's all good. Uh, yeah, so here we go. That's the new Wellington, and here is the old Wellington. 
Oh God, he was naughty in here. Wolf doesn't want to be washed off. Come on. I still love you. I'm sure I love so I have just finished both tests. Um, the PSG went well. Um, the warm up was very tricky beforehand. It was kind of like a 20 meter circle. I didn't have a line to get my changes. I tried to do pirouettes and it was a bit too busy, so I was bumping into people. Um, so we kind of went into the test without practicing the movements. Um, but this is okay because sometimes these things happen and you have to just ride through it. Um, I'm really happy with them in the PSG. We just didn't have, I mean in both tests, we didn't have enough power. So I really couldn't collect him enough for the pirouettes to get him really, um, to get them small. And his changes weren't, you know, collected enough and all that sort of thing. And we didn't have much expression in the trot. But I'd spoken to David and I've also spoken to Charlotte about it. And they both say that I just have to get through the test as calmly as possible um, and kind of just really ease him through it and then once he's relaxed then we can start to put the power in i know he's got the power we can get it home i need to find that relaxation and we are finally starting to get that so i'm so so happy um and in the inter one i made a mistake i actually went wrong i don't know why this happened i think it's because i had half an hour between the tests i haven't done the inter one for ages um it's very fiddly but you know that's my fault not the horses um and then we had a mistake in our right pirouette he was just falling through my right leg a little bit so um we had a little bit of a mistake in that uh he got very excited we didn't get very excited he got a little bit muddled before his twos but he came back to me, which is incredible for him to come back to me on the same diagonal, and then got seven twos, which is really cool. He got his threes. Um, he did the zigzag, and I actually, confessing, I've never been able to get it at home. So the first time getting it in the test is great. Um, so I'm really happy. It's only his first one. I don't know what marks he got in it yet, but I'm happy. He's, he's calming down, um, and hopefully soon I can put the power in. There we go, this is advertisement, see? Oh, go like that. There we go. This one. This one. This one. That one. Yeah. Come here! Hi! Oh my god! Hi! Hi! How do you have sound You have? No, not even touching the sound. It's just, just a lot. Yeah, it's on a grand scale, everything I'm doing just on a bigger scale. So it's just chipping so away, but it's doing so slowly. Cute. So Wilf got a PB in the PSG of 68%, which I'm really happy with because there were mistakes and um, I definitely know we can do better, so this is exciting. Um, and then he got 63 in the into one and I think that's why I went wrong. 
so that's you know quite expensive with three judges and there were lots of little mistakes but it's the first time i've run through it so um i'm just gonna get entered in a few more uh but for now i'm gonna go running and then then what am i doing i don't know hand grazing then i'm hand grazing and then eating steak eating Monday. steak and then editing this that is the end of part one i'm gonna go take will for a hand graze and then chill and start editing this vlog make sure to catch part two um, and i'll see you guys soon <laughs>